toppling the past to, to erase our history. You're like, you what? We just want to learn about it. We want the truth. We want people to, to understand. It's not about erasing it. It's about learning. It's about the horrific brutality of slavery. <laughs> and asking in God's name, why? Why are we honouring monsters? Why are there statues all over? The, what, 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 what's that even about? It's 2020 today. They've been there for 200 years. <laughs> the Daily Basket case sobbing this morning as Royal Britannia and God Save the Queen bellows out from the BBC, from the Radio 4, for Prince Philip. <laughs> for fuck's sake, look at us. Look at this country. This is a mirror. This is a reflection. What do they want? They want a, they want a war. <laughs> we want a war. They always want a war. They, 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 Little Mix, Piers Morgan, K-pop fans, <laughs> Yorkshire Tea, PG Tips. <laughs> and they're going to have it. We're fucko the clown. The gammon gravy dribbling elite. The BBC describes them as, as the, the opposition, this anti-racism critics. <laughs> anti-racism, but what the, the most prominent woman of colour, Megan, ever in this country, was driven out. The press, media, peers again, who sides he on? <laughs> you know, where's Boris? Track and trace that dodgy fucker. The statues are falling, toppled. There'll be tears at the times. The lost generation, government in chaos, change is coming. <laughs>